if we start at the beginning point, you're you're observing a transition from uh, the the Unity prayer dynamic to a a Unity with strategy and even organisation dynamic. What would you say is the relationship between the prayer networks and the I don't know the functional Unity engagement mm. networks? How are they connecting together? I'm aware in Australia you've got some strong national prayer mm. networks. And I like two hands that clap, both are needed. But again, there's different dynamics in those. Uh, so just, just any comments on that and how, how you're observing? Yeah, that? well, I'd love to, um, probably the way I said it would make it sound like it was a seamless, um, uh, beautiful uh, transition. Now it's not like that at all, of course. Um, look, it's kind of like the priestly to the uh, kingly or the prophetic to the, uh, apostolic. I mean, we're a Christian audience here, uh, and we're probably all leaders, so we understand this um, Christian ease language. Um, and it's not easy. It's we've been probably a generation more in the priestly, prophetic area to some degree, and the last to be restored is probably, if I can use a terrible theology, but kingly and apostolic. Mm. And sometimes the past, if it doesn't openly resist the, the next. Uh, can be passive toward it. And uh, we've had our fair share of that and still got it, mm -hmm. unfortunately. And even in the national prayer movement, uh, a few years ago, one national prayer leader lamented that there was probably four pre unity prayer groups across Australia. <laughs> and unfortunately, at one stage, weren't even talking to each other too well. Now, thankfully, that's, that's starting to change. And uh, I think it's a lot better now. And I'm really thankful for that. And there's some good reasons. Some, some great leaders are rising up. They, in fact, the new uh, leader of Australia Praise is James Condon, who's a commissioner in the Salvation Army and a hugely respected church statesman, good friend, been a big supporter of all of this. And so he's just got the heart and, you know, he's, he's not precious about anything. So there is, the, it has been difficult at local level. And I'd say here in Toowoomba, um, I think there's, um, we've got some problems in that area, but thankfully we've got also a wonderful intercessory network who are full of activists led by a, a Danish warrior, Viking, uh, in her 80s, Colin and Grace know well, Annie, she's known all over Australia in prayer circles now, and she's no nonsense, she doesn't mind giving pastors a lecture if she thinks we're a bit slack, uh, but everybody loves her. So, <coughs> pardon me, to answer your question, it's a vexed area. Uh, it's getting better, um, but we've got a long way to go. What, what would you say that prayer networks <laughs> need to do? Obviously, I'm on the activistic side, so most in the room will know I'm completely biased here. But um, <laughs> as much as I love prayer, um, what, what would you say that the prayer networks need to do to help that bridge? Because they are, they are different functions, yeah. and both, both are important and needed. I've just come from a, a prayer meeting, you know, uh, to this. Um. Both are desperately needed, and we need our activists need to slow down occasionally and and pray, <laughs> and our um, and the ones and the prayer warriors uh, need to embrace and celebrate the activists, and um, I, I see a bit of tension even in our own city. Uh, my my daughter is uh, some no the tissue be in New Zealand later in the year is a real activist, and uh, there's some tension between her and some of the. Not the not Annie and her group, but there's another group of pastors here in town that uh, <clears throat> think we just got to pray and wait for God to do everything. Um, I think God's waiting for us to do something. Um, mm. It's it's a vexed area. It's not easy. Um, uh, we need to hear each other and be a lot. Take a few humble pills and know that this won't be done unless we somehow hear each other and support one another. Yeah, very good. Uh, here in New Zealand, just just as a, a comment for, for the New Zealanders here, I think we've got it easier because we're like one state of Australia. Yeah, so yeah. we don't have the same national movements. Um, Gay Ann here with Pray as One and Colin and Grace with it as well. Um, that's really the, the foremost singular national prayer gathering and, and just doing an amazing job. And they give the platform to the activists yeah. so that they get to speak on that platform. So, um, you know, just, just want to beautiful. Well, well done. Well done to Gay Ann um, there for that. Yeah. So, you guys can teach us a lot. Yeah, I think we're just fortunate to be smaller, I think. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, okay, we're, um, six, we're six independent countries, really. Yeah, yeah. Now,